Yeah. Three, two, one. You're suffering with Triggered Hello Hello Here we are Hello and welcome to Triggered FM It's 2019 R. Kelly still a pedophile Yeah Episode 1 Of this podcast thing That we've decided to do This is not the first take and it might not be the last. <laughs> <laughs> We're new to this. We're yeah. very, very new to We're this. We're making mistakes all day. Yeah, but if there's one thing we need to know is, is we need to sell things first. Yeah. <laughs> We're playing a show in Bristol on the 29th of January. For the Crofters' rights, and we're playing with a band called You Win Again Gravity. Yeah. You Win Again Gravity. You Win Again They're cool. Gravity. Cool. They certainly uh, smashing home the point that Gravity will win again. And they're also really good at playing their instruments and making music sound yeah. good, so can't wait for that one. It's gonna be yeah. great. It's on a Tuesday it's night. Big it's on a Tuesday great. night. Twenty ninth. Make it out. But it's gonna be twenty ninth. January. January. In Bristol. In Bristol. Crosses rise. Gotta get him. You win again, gravity. Okay. Okay, we have a podcast. That's weird. It's weird. It's weird. It's weird. We have all of the tropes of a podcast, a radio thing. Springy mic stands. Coin, 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 coin. Sound effects. Purple Pops. It's our own fault! Make it stop! The only thing we are missing now is the talent and the content. <laughs> the content. The Lord con- knows we've been putting together that content. <laughs> <laughs> As you know, we've been releasing monthly music under the guise of Trigger Tuesday. It started actually in December of not last year but the year before yeah. uh, and we were hoping in this podcast to maybe unpack what we were up to at the time go over the journey some of the gigs we played at the time some of the bands we played with showcase yeah. some of their music uh, but this episode's a bit of a cheat episode it's December and January wished into one a- an amalgamation if you will <laughs> so we're gonna uh, cover Love Me on Wibsy in this and it's, it's interesting that we should start with Love Me because it was originally just a bit of a laugh. Never... Uh, Triggered Tuesdays wasn't even a concept at this point. No. We were just really chuffed with a song that we managed <laughs> to put together in the space of a month. Yeah. In fact, it won't, it won't have even been a month, but we were managed to create a minute and a half's worth of music that every time we played it, we went, can we play that again? Uh, and can we play that again? Can we, can we play that one more time? Milestone. So we just kept on rinsing it and rinsing it, and then it gets to a point where all of a sudden I get a phone call from Aaron and Will saying, Damon, guitars and drums are done. Do you want to come and record bass? That's how little of an idea we had going into the recording of Wibsy. Uh, not Wibsy, love me, sorry. <laughs> the, we, we, it was, it was, the idea of putting music out was just a thought of going, we've got this song, Let's just see what people think. We went from zero to like products with just the gear that we had in our room. Here, I'll tell you what, let's just play it yeah, so that we can don't have to suffer this backing music again. I apologize if I screw up the buttons, it's kind of like flying a plane. So everyone should be worried with a brown man flying a plane. Record <laughs> FM! <laughs>
was loved me by the socially inept trigger thumb. <laughs> yeah. We have a laugh. We have so a laugh. we recorded that at our old room at Factory Street. Indeed. Um, we had kind of everything that we needed to do a recording. Just, just about. Just, we, 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 yeah. Because of just that song, about. we found out we had just about <laughs> enough to record. <laughs> yeah. In that room. At least a minute and a half long SoundCloud song. Mm. And so we were kind of introduced to this term, it's, that's so SoundCloud by the Apogee Boys. Big ups to them, we played a show with them at Mad Friday at Trash. Brad Friday. Brad Friday. It was a Brad Friday. Brad Friday. And when we first met them, they were like, and it was Morgan actually, the lead singer was like, ah, that sounds so SoundCloud. And I was like, I, I don't know. What do you mean? I don't know I'm what that means. I'm still not convinced I know what you mean. <laughs> uh, it's like it's, it's the hip hop digital punk sort of thing that was going on at the yeah. time. Like trap music, all the, all the lils. Very homegrown. All the lils, yeah. The lil Zans and stuff were all just kind of ripping up SoundCloud. So we originally just thought this track would just work to stay on SoundCloud. Just and a- uh, not, not necessarily a throwaway, but just sort of like a, this is what we did, yeah. Yeah. hope you like it. Especially, yeah, so the first time we actually got to debut it was at uh, Howerman's EP launch, mm. 1 in 12 in December. They very kindly asked us to play. <laughs> yeah, yeah, nuts is. Uh, <laughs> we got to meet them in Sheffield, actually, at Made Events, which was pretty rad. It was kind of crazy that we had to go all the way over to Sheffield to meet our friends from Bradford. Bradford. Yeah, big up to Joe and Ari as well for that show. That was an, em- an amalgam of some serious, serious talent. That was the first time we were introduced to Cho Koo. A whole bunch of other kind of turned into our, uh, our boys. Absolutely. So, but 1 in 12 in December. I don't big old, big old love to any band that's doing an EP launch as well, by the way. Respect to Homie for this. Big old love to anyone who turns around and goes, we're going to put a spread on. Mm. You know, you know, that was an apt use. Absolute fire. We turned up and Sonia, the vegan chef, had put on um, some amazing Indian food. Some, of, oh, some of the best, the best foods I've consumed in my life. <laughs> and if you wish to partake in said foods and delights, you need to head on down to uh, Bread Roses on the North Parade. Yeah, Bread and Roses on North Parade. Sonia and a whole bunch of people started up a co-op over there and it's just... Banging food, banging Much food. love to the North Parade, Bradford represent. Chin chin. One more time. <laughs> <laughs> so, how have we been really, really kind? We got in touch with them and we were just like, putting together this podcast. Fancy saying a few words, can we play your music? And then we did more than a few words. You need to hear this. You need to hear this. We're going to play the track from, uh, we're going to play the black, uh, blah, 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 blah. Play the track Black as Ebony off their EP Looms Last that they were launching at the time that we played and check this shit.
Very, very lovely sound. Absolutely. Lovely band. Absolutely. Yeah. We were just saying whilst we were listening, it would be awesome. In fact, I'm going to put all the links to where you can hear them in all of the descriptions, mm. all of the Facebook posts, all the YouTube posts, etc. So you can go check them out. I just want to make a public cry for work. work. Homin, if you are recording, you've written stuff this year. Let me record it. Let's just do it. Let's make a record. Let's make it happen. Yeah. Absolutely, let's make it happen. So, that was December. Mm. January. January. On to Yan. New year, new us. Oh, whimsy. Yeah. Uh, well, actually, we kind of cheated, didn't we, really? Because we, we recorded Love Me, we thought, oh, that came together really easy, let's... Do something that we've been playing for a little bit now. And put it together in this, you know, space it's, that we've got. It seemed, it seemed to work. But we actually did that in December. <laughs> so we, we're just kind of like lying about the timeline even more. It's when you heard it and that's all that really matters. That's all that ever matters. That's all that ever matters. <laughs> See, Whips is a bit of a, a strange record. It's, it's a, I mean, vaguely it's about the often selfish positions we take when we're dealing with people who we love, who've experienced trauma. And it's about the way that we often disguise how our own emotional vulnerabilities as a way of looking out for them and sometimes we don't always take the best actions that they want you to do and sometimes we just kind of act on our own accord on other people's behalf. Um, obviously we've been performing the record for a little while with you know, half the, the vocals there. Well, we, yeah. did, we did a live session. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Will Cook. Um, we chose this song to do, and it's basically an unfinished version that's out there. Uh, yeah, uh, it's not the only one. I think there's one from us doing our EP launch as well. There's a whimsy yeah. version there that's yeah. also sans yeah, second there half is, of yeah. vocals. Yeah, very true. And we had the beautiful pleasure of. Um, not even hearing the complete song until Aaron had started mixing it all together once he'd recorded his parts. So like myself and Will came in somewhat understanding the first half of the song and then having a, a second half of the song that we'd, we, we'd never heard before either. So it was it was a reawakening almost for us. It was, it was, it was, it was it's not often that you get to experience that when you're in a band. So it was a, a thoroughly enjoyable moment for ourselves. Sweet. That was a really nice, honest moment between us. It was, wasn't it? You're welcome, guys. It has absolutely nothing to do with nondescript single malt whiskey from Scotland. I love you, I love you. Well, I'll tell you what, let's let's play the track anyway. Yeah. And make release easy. of some of these, like, sound things I've got. <laughs> Peace! <laughs> Trigger of I believe it's already the
love it. That was Whimsy by Trigger Thumb. Yep. Yeah. Those guys. Yeah. <laughs> so once we finished that record, we had Whimsy in the bag and we were like, yo, we have everything we need to record the rest of the music that we've been sat on. That yeah. catalogue that we've been working on substantially for a period of time. I remember Will said he made Wibsy his bitch at the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we've yeah. done so well with his records. We have enough <laughs> content to do it monthly yeah. till September. Easy. We'll we call it Trigger Tuesday. Yeah, Trigger Tuesdays. Alliter alliteration, alliteration sells products, creates familiarity, makes us know and seem like we know what's, go what's going on. What could go wrong, eh? What could go wrong? Everything! Make it stop!